I got to talk to you about NVIDIA because man, oh man, I got to hear how you fan band will react to it. First and foremost, I got to mention about the 12 volt high power port. You know how it is by 12X6? As you know from earlier in the year, we're actually the last couple years, there were issues with GeForce RTX 40 series cards. For those who had the 12 volt high power port may have had the issue where they had the meltdown. What would happen is it would conduct so much heat between the connector for the 12 volt high power port to the graphics card, it would actually melt. And it wasn't actually because of the wattage that was going through with it, but it was due to a faulty connection. A lot of those issues derived from a loose connection would equal a load of resistance. And when there's high resistance, that can cause a lot of issues. Hence why they decided to come with 12X6, which is a big improvement over the 12 volt high power port. NVIDIA said themselves, the 50 series, they have have done and tried trial and error and that there shouldn't be any issues arising especially because now we are going to be entering much more higher wattages, especially those who would have the RTX 5090 because it can go as high as 575 watts. So that's a lot more load compared to the RTX 4090. Now I got to show you this write-up by Corsair. It's actually pretty, a uh, pretty decent write-up by them, but it will show you the difference between 12 volt high power port and the difference between 12X6. If you notice the photo that they provide, it is negative 1.5 millimeters shorter than the 12 volt high power port, which is the shorter pins up on the top of it. On the bottom, they're only about positive 0.25 millimeters longer to ensure a better connection, which won't give you issues when it comes to connecting it. And the reason why that was giving issues is because the little pins up on the top while you're trying to push that connector in would kind of make it feel like it's in snug, but it really wasn't. You really had to force it in there. And I also recommend MSI's power adapters. They are awesome. Even their 50 series graphics cards, which is a great idea for them to have that. They actually have a yellow marker on their connectors to where you can make sure that the connector is on 100%. So that way you don't have, you have less worry when it comes to any type of faulty connections. Now moving on, the more stressful part is not really just the connectors, but Nvidia said that there may be a shortage of 50 series cards. And that's no surprise. They said something like this, similar line, similar of lines back in the 40 series. But here's the difference. With the 50 series cards, yes, there may be a shortage and there's a reason why, because we are going to be entering the new lunar year. And plus TSMC also had a uh, earthquake over in Jai. So that could also have some type of production issues as well when it comes to the RTX 50 series. Now, if you are planning to get the RTX 5090 or the RTX 5080, make sure that you're first in line. Otherwise, you might have to wait a couple months before receiving any stock, similar to the whole AMD issue we had with the 9800X3D. Same with the RTX 5070. And I do have news about when that exactly is releasing. They're actually planning to drop the RTX 5070 February 20th as the leaks say. Now this is for a European market and also from the US market from what I am also hearing. What's even more interesting is remember Kingpin, how they teamed up with EVGA and they made graphics cards. It seems like he might be interested in getting back in it, but unfortunately not for Nvidia. It seems like, it seems that Kingpin is honestly looking to other markets such as AMD and Intel. It seems that he doesn't really want to deal with NVIDIA. I got to let you guys know in the AMD side of the news, which is also important to know, if you didn't see my short yesterday, I did mention that AMD did officially announce a release date for the RX 5070. They said that it should be released March 20th. Now, here's the thing. And they also mentioned the reason why they delayed it. And it's not because that they were scared of pricing, as so they say. But personally to me, I feel that has a large 
problem with the whole issue because originally AMD did want to charge up to $600. Now they were thinking of dropping down the price down to 550, but for them, it just didn't make sense or any type of valuable sense for them to do that. And hence the vice president of AMD did mention what the plans are for AMD. Quote unquote here, he really appreciates the excitement for RDNA 4. We are focused on ensuring we delivered a great set of products with Radeon 9000 series. We are taking a little extra time to optimize the software stack for maximum performance and enable more FSR for titles. We also have a wide range of partners launching Radeon 9000 series cards. And while some have started building initial inventory at retailers, you should expect more partner cards, especially at launch. And it seems that they may be trying to inch out a release in some time in February. But the only problem is they do have competition, again, which is NVIDIA's RTX 5070. So famim, guys, what are your thoughts about this whole issue? Are you more interested in getting NVIDIA's RTX card? Or are you planning to go to AMD's route? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you found this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into PCs and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And if you're not part of the big wonderful fan bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you follow my X channel right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. If you're not part of the Discord channel, don't be afraid to join and into the conversation because we love to talk about PC and tech like we do on this channel. So, fam, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.